well, uh, we've had a, we had a rough time haven't we, in December, uh, but we've trained really well. Um, we're looking in great uh, physical form, so um, I'm hitting some PB. So uh, it was good. It was good to get a game against Hull uh, and get you know get a game um, under our belts really. So uh, so we're in good. We're in good spirits. And recruitment-wise, you've certainly brought in some some quality this off-season. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the quality we have. I think as a, as a squad, as quality's gone up. Um, but again, we've probably got a few numbers uh, light than other squads, but the quality has really improved, so um, uh, not really, you know, evident at the weekend. Our team sheet now, from one to whatever it might be, you know, I think um, our forwards are absolutely fantastic. You know, I think our middle is going to be awesome for us this year. You know, we've got Gareth Carvel, and you've got Nass, and you know, you've got Nick Scruton as well, who, who took all the awards here last year. You know, I think we're just going to be so tough to stop in that middle, and if our backs can play off the back of that, and people like myself, Luke George and Elliot Kier can start finishing some tries on the edges, then I think we're going, to, we're going to be pretty tough to stop, I think. Yeah, he's a fantastic player, he's got a great pedigree, you just look at his career and the caps he's got and the trophies he's won, and he adds a lot to the group, particularly from a mentor point of view with some of the younger players, he's going to be fantastic for him. And plus, he's a, he's a big human being and he, he takes some stopping when he's got a roll on, so from my point of view as a hooker, it's going to be nice playing off the back of it. What will we see from, from the Bradford Bulls this year? Well, we've, we've built ourselves, particularly last year, so on, on building ourselves, have a great character in the team and working hard for each other. Now we've not always made the smartest players and we've not always done things as perfect as we'd like. But what we want to do this year is, is put a finishing touch to that sort of character that we've got, that hard work that we're putting week out, week in, week out and put a finished product to it by scoring some good tries and being a little bit better defensively. It's kind of a different stress now, you know, you're not running the hills no more, you're getting up for the games and you want to play good, get the points for the team and not looking at the season. We're all uh, very confident we can get in the top eight. For yourself, talk us through your hopes and, and kind of aspirations for 2014 you know, you know what, what position are you, are you fancying playing for the Bulls and you know you, I guess it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a battle to kind of establish that and, and keep hold of that on a weekly basis yeah um, I see myself as an halfback but I'm happy to fit in wherever the team need me but like you say you've got to play train hard and play good for staying the side if you're not playing well you're not going to be in the side so I've just got to concentrate on my game and make sure I'm playing well weekly the young lads who, who, who showed promise at the end of last year now a year older got a little bit more experience and they're developing so so although we are still a young squad um, they'll they'll be the major gains for us I think this year that they can play where they could probably get five or six games and then they have to have a rest they can probably do a bit more so that's you know the, the evolution of the team is, is getting better that we've got more consistency of, of physical Super League players now where we were testing people last year. No, you've got to be consistent all year, you've got to pick the win wins up week in, week out, we're aware of that. The new system um, is an interesting in concept, particularly when you go into 2015, but from a Bulls point of view, we, you know, it's not something we've talked about. We're looking at making an eight, we're looking at being positive in our game this year and not worrying about what, what's going on below.